recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Thursday, 1st August 1895 The real Guru is the one through whom we have our spiritual descent. He is the channel through which the spiritual current flows to us, the link which joins us to the whole spiritual world. Too much faith in personality has a tendency to produce weakness and idolatry, but intense love for the Guru makes rapid growth possible, he connects us with the internal Guru. Adore your Guru if there be real truth in him, that Guru Bhakti, devotion to the teacher, will quickly lead you to the highest. Sri Ramakrishna's purity was that of a baby. He never touched money in his life, and lust was absolutely annihilated in him. Do not go to great religious teachers to learn physical science, their whole energy has gone to the spiritual. In Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa the man was all dead and only God remained, he actually could not see sin, he was literally of purer eyes than to behold iniquity. The purity of these few Paramahamsa, monks of the highest order, is all that holds the world together. If they should all die out and leave it, the world would go to pieces. They do good by simply being, and they know it not, they just are. Books suggest the inner light and the method of bringing that out, but we can only understand them when we have earned the knowledge ourselves. When the inner light has flashed for you, let the books go and look only within. You have in you all and a thousand times more than is in all the books. Never lose faith in yourself, you can do anything in this universe. Never weaken, all power is yours. If religion and life depend upon books or upon the existence of any profit whatsoever, then perish all religion and books. Religion is in us. No books or teachers can do more than help us to find it, and even without them, we can get all truth within. You have gratitude for books and teachers without bondage to them, and worship your Guru as God, but do not obey Him blindly, love Him all you will, but think for yourself. No blind belief can save you, work out your own salvation. Have only one idea of God, that He is an eternal help. Freedom and highest love must go together, then neither can become a bondage. We can give nothing to God, He gives all to us. He is the Guru of Gurus. Then we find that He is the soul of our souls, our very self. No wonder we love Him, He is the soul of our souls, whom or what else can we love? We want to be the steady flame, burning without heat and without smoke. To whom can you do good, when you see only God? You cannot do good to God. All doubt goes, all is, sameness. If you do good at all, you do it to yourself, feel that the receiver is the higher one. You serve the other because you are lower than he, not because he is low and you are high. Give as the rose gives perfume, because it is its own nature, utterly unconscious of giving. The great Hindu reformer, Raja Ram Mohan Roy, was a wonderful example of this unselfish work. He devoted his whole life to helping India. It was he who stopped the burning of widows. It is usually believed that this reform was due entirely to the English, but it was Raja Ram Mohan Roy who started the agitation against the custom and succeeded in obtaining the support of the government in suppressing it. Until he began the movement, the English had done nothing. He also founded the important religious society called the Brahmo Samaj and subscribed a hundred thousand dollars to found a university. He then stepped out and told them to go ahead without him. He cared nothing for fame or for results to himself. Thursday afternoon, there are endless series of manifestations, like merry-go-round, in which the souls ride, so to speak. The series are eternal, individual souls get out, but the events repeat themselves eternally, and that is how one's past and future can be read, because all is really present. When the soul is in a certain chain, 
it has to go through the experiences of that chain. From one series souls go to other series, from some series they escape forever by realizing that they are Brahman. By getting hold of one prominent event in a chain and holding on to it, the whole chain can be dragged in and read. This power is easily acquired, but it is of no real value and to practice it takes just so much from our spiritual forces. Go not after these things, worship God.